check out the license plate camera. Remove the protective film of the camera lens. Now we use this monitor to test, not included. Connect RCA video cable to monitor's yellow connector. Connect the RCA video cable to the camera. Connect the power cord to the DC connector on the monitor. For the camera's cable, red is positive, black is negative. Note, regarding the positive and negative of the vehicle's cable, the color of the cable is likely to be different from the camera. You need to test and confirm. Connect another power cord to the DC connector on the camera. Now demonstrate another wiring method. Connect the DC connector on the monitor to the power source. Connect the DC connector on the camera to another power source. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. It is now in mirror mode. Use a tool to cut the thin white wire of the camera. Power off the camera and quickly power on. The monitor automatically switches to front-facing view. Use a tool to cut the thin green wire of the camera. Power off the camera and quickly power on. The guidelines turn off. If you want to return to the mirror mode, you can reconnect the thin white wire. If you want to turn on the guidelines, you can reconnect the thin green wire. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.